Hello, so we're going to read chapter 50, and then we're going to wait on the Lord and see what he says. This is about who God is and how we're supposed to trust him and not our own abilities. So listen closely. Thus says the Lord, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it, whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have sold yourself. And for your transgressions is your mother put away. Wherefore, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all, that it cannot redeem? Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, in my rebuke I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stinketh, because there is no water, and dieth for thirst. I clothe the heavens with darkness. and make a sackcloth their covering. The Lord God has given me the tongue of learned, and I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He waketh morning by morning. He waketh me ear to hear as the learned. The Lord has opened my ears and was not rebellious, neither turned back away back. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off my hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confound. Therefore have I set my face like flint. I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifies me. He who will contend with me. Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moths shall eat them up. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and has no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Behold, all ye that candle a fire, that compass yourself about with sparks, walk in the light of your, of your fire, in the sparks that, that ye have kindled, ye shall have a mine. This shall be, this shall ye have of my hand. Ye shall lie down in sorrow. So the Lord did speak to me. I'm going to share a little bit of it. He was talking to me this morning. I do think it's best that I share what he said about this light. That's what brought me to this word. There is a better way. There is not, there is not a one I do not wish to save. But man is wicked and will not come to the master. It is a wretched thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Woe to the man who walks in his own light. He will surely be in darkness. For the only true light is the one that is from the Most High. I am that I am, the one whom created all things. These men are in a state of delusion. Believing a lie, for they refuse the truth. They will never accept Jesus as their redemption. So God's speaking of the Luciferians there. That these ones who think they're following the great architect, Lucifer, which is actually Satan, who is actually the accuser. Satan means the accuser. Has prepared these men for the reward they're getting for the sins they're committing against mankind. Uh, we're going to get quiet and we're going to allow the Lord to... Awaken us to truth. You know, he showed us the blood. He showed us um, he wants to reconcile with you. And now he's showing us that he's the true light. I'm in hopes that you that think you want to follow along with this false illumination will awaken to truth and be saved. Trust Jesus and live. Shalom.